السلام يا مؤمن يا مهيمن يا عزيز يا جب Riba is one of the most destructive sins in Islam. And many Muslims unfortunately have become very complacent regarding riba and dealing with riba. Either it could be through their ignorance, their lack of knowledge, it could be because they underestimate the sin or it could be their lack of fear of Allah Azza wa Jal, their lack of taqwa of Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. And it is a major sin in Islam. And a major sin in Islam is identifiable, generally speaking, through three signs. If you want to know if a sin is a major sin or not, you look for one of three signs. The first sign is there's a serious warning about it. A serious warning in the Quran or Sunnah. Or there is a la'an. For example, we say la'an Allah. If you hear la'an Allah or la'an Rasulullah, such and such who does such and such, then that sin is a major sin. Or there is a had, there is a punishment for it in this life or a punishment in the hereafter. When it comes to riba, it meets all three, as we will see in a few moments. Now, riba is one of the seven major or most evil of sins in Islam. Although many scholars today have numbered 70, that seems to be the most correct opinion that there are more than seven, but seven are included in the 70. As Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu wa arda said, they are closer to 70 than seven. Yet here the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in the hadith which is found in Bukhari and Muslim, he said to the Sahaba that were around him, Ijtanibu al mubiqat. He said, avoid the seven most evil of sins. Or avoid the seven most destructive sins. Qalu, Ya Rasulallah, wa ma hun? A messenger of Allah, what are they? Qala, ashirku billah. That you associate a partner with Allah Azza wa Jal. Was sihr, magic, or sorcery, or witchcraft. Wa qatlu al nafsi allati harram Allah illa bil haq. And killing a soul whom Allah has forbidden killing unless it is done lawfully. Wa akl riba. And the consumption of riba.